Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm here with another cleaning video. I hope you're not getting sick of these videos. I feel like I've been filming quite a few of them, but they are really motivating, not just for you guys, but for me as well. I love doing before and afters and it makes me just do a better job. So as you can see, this house is an absolute mess. It's just been half term and both the boys' birthdays. So I need to give it a good sort and I also have so much laundry to do as well. So if you're new here then, hi, my name's Becca. I film all sorts of videos on my channel from cleaning, day in the lives, fashion, hauls, loads of like bargain videos so if you really love those types of videos then I'd really love it if you would stick around and press the subscribe button it does really mean so much to me and in this video I'm going to be getting up ready for spring I don't know if anyone else is like me but I am so sick of this weather we've been having recently so yeah I'm going to get some daffodils and by doing this to the house I'm hoping that we bring the nice weather soon as well so as you can see I'm just starting off with putting a load of washing on because as you can see I've got many to do and then once I pop that I'm gonna start emptying and sorting out under the stairs. So I've cleared in there out and I still need to get a skirting board for because when we did the renovations we didn't get one for there, we don't know why he never did that. I think it's because we was originally going to have this freezer here but then we thought it'd be easier to have the space open so we could put like the hoover and stuff in there. So I'm going to go through this as well because I always keep everything in there from just like random stuff I've got like um, tea lights, wax melts, spare spray bottles, like um, the spare plugins and stuff I'm gonna go through all of that as well and then as you can see we never finished painting in here and then when we've been throwing stuff in we've obviously marked all the walls so I've got a bit of white paint as you see me struggling moving it a minute ago so I'm gonna just go over and just give this a bit of a paint as well before I start putting everything back in and then behind here I'm not going to go through that because behind there is just his train track set and all the Christmas stuff so I'm just going to leave that there and then we have this spare freezer as well in here it's so handy to have one of these so we didn't want to get rid of it after we had the old house so we have kept that here as well we might end up getting rid of this one and getting another one because this is like a double one and we don't need that much more space but in the old house this is the only freezer we had so yeah i'm gonna start painting in here now i get so caught up in the middle thinking of drowning in those blue eyes i'm losing sight because i am falling i'm so deep down deep down and it's not a lie then as I was doing that I realised how dirty the top of this freezer is so I'm just going to give that a clean with trusty pink stuff and just the back of one of these sponges. I find that it comes up really well using this. Yeah, I keep drowning in those blue eyes And you can tell me all of your lies I will put out all of the fire If it gets too dark So I'm just going to fill the car up as I'm going to head to the tip and then I'm also taking the rug that I've had under the stairs since we've moved in because when we moved house we left it wet so now it's got a bit of a weird smell so we're taking it to this washing machine that they have outside of Tesco, it's like a huge washing machine, so we're going to shove it in there and hope for the best. So now I'm back home, I'm going to start in the kitchen again, I always really like to 
start in the kitchen in the house it, it just makes me feel so much better once that's done and I feel like that takes me the longest so I'm just taking everything off the sides and, and then of course I'm having a bit of the cake before I move it because it's so nice So to clean my sink, I'm just using this Fabulosa. Um, I bought this from Pound Stretcher, but I believe they sell it in home bargains and things like that now. It smells so nice and they have loads of different scents of this as well. So whilst cleaning out under the stairs, I found the top and the sides to this radiator. So I'll pop them back on and now I need to give them a clean because they've got all plaster all over them since we had the kitchen plastered. So I'm just going to use the pink stuff again for this because it is just amazing to get things off. Let me know down below if you want me to film a separate video on everything that I use the pink stuff for because honestly guys, it is a miracle paste. So yeah, like I said, let me know down below if you want me to film that. Jump into the car on a Friday night I want to drive with you Looking for a bar in the nearest town I've never seen a sky so blue We don't ever play it in the night is young It doesn't matter what we do There ain't nobody like There ain't nobody like You look so beautiful And I'm so lucky to be yours And you're taking me So since we've decided not to have the long radiator here, I have decided to make a little breakfast area. So I had some of this worktop left and I've just bought these from Ikea as well. And I bought these from Ikea as well. So I'm going to add cereal in these and make like a little breakfast area, add some bowls, just so it's easy to grab in the morning. Something about the way you move, no that ain't nobody like, ain't nobody like, so lucky to be yours. I absolutely love how that's turned out and I might get like a little plaque behind it or a little mirror or something. So now the dryer's done, I'm going to quickly take them out whilst it's still warm because if I leave them in any longer, they start going all creased. And as you can see, Charlie doesn't like me taking anything out. He loves to help. He's really good at helping with the washing. He loves like putting it in the washer and the dryer. <laughs> Time. 
So a great tip if you've not got a lot of cupboard space, I have these baskets on top of the cupboards. This is if you've got tall ceilings like I do in like in a terraced house. I have these baskets although I do need to go through them because they are getting a bit full. And I have like all my baking stuff and all the things I don't need to reach for often. And it just saves up so much space in your cupboard. So yeah, if you've got high ceilings then I would definitely recommend getting some baskets for that. So oh, now on to cleaning my hob. So I have this hob that's a little bit like an electric one but it's actually a gas one so it's quite easy to clean. So I'm just going to take all the stuff off it and then give it a wipe down. I'm going to use elbow grease and these elbow grease cloths um, or like the disposable kitchen towel. So it's just got these little rough circles on it so it's easy to get out stubborn marks that is on my hob. And then after I've used that I'm going to use my cage just to get these streaks out. Give me a chance to make it right Just let me touch you like the first time We don't need answers to survive Just let us keep on with the black guys Give me a chance to make it right Just let me touch you like the first time We don't need answers to survive Just let us keep on with the black guys now I'm just getting the rug out of the dryer and I just pop some tumble sheets in there as well just to make it smell extra nice. You can do this at the either laundry or if you think it's one of those Tesco places but it, it costs me £2 every 10 minutes so I decided to take my chances and try and put it in my tumble dryer at home which works or if it's nicer weather outside it's been raining for like a week so I couldn't pop it outside. And then as I'm doing a deep clean I'm gonna spray the tiles as well because this is something I always forget to do and then I look at them and they've just got loads of splatter marks from food on them so I'm just going to give them a clean as well. So now I'm just going to use this flash pet odor eliminator to clean all the surfaces. We have the dogs in the kitchen quite a lot when we go out or if we've got people around and stuff so I like to use this and the scent is just really really nice. I'm just going to give everywhere a wipe down. So now onto the floor, I'm just using this same spray just to take these kickboards off because they have a little seal underneath and because my dogs wee sometimes in the kitchen it sometimes seeps underneath that seal so I like to take these off and just give that a bit of a clean and whilst it's off I'm just going to give it a little bit of a brush because there's, I don't know what, how there's stuff under there but there's a few stuff some under there and then I'm going to start on the floor. Then 
then I'm just going to pop a cap of this in, it's the same thing, just the one for the floor. And I'm just using this mop that I absolutely love because it keeps the dirty water and the clean water separate and it spins them up and I just find it so fun to use. I'm actually going to use this instead rather than the spray mop today because I want to give it more of a deep clean. So now onto the dumping ground of the house, so I'm just sorting out the table and then I'm going to sort through Ollie's Lego, he's got a few for his birthday and I always pop them in these little sandwich bags and pop the instructions in with them as well, it just saves up a lot of space upstairs in his bedroom and it's just easy when he wants to get one out because the boxes never close again once they're open. So now I'm going to go through the organiser that I have on the back of the understairs door, so I keep this for spare cleaning products, my wax melts, tea lights, just anything really that you just don't want to shove in a drawer and it just saves me so much space. So I've got so much stuff in there so I'm just going to empty it all out and then start putting them in sections just so it's easy. Say I have like tea lights in one and wax melts in the other. So now the table's clear, I'm just going to give that a clean and then I'm going to clean Charlie's little seat because this gets stained really easily and I've just realised that you can use elbow grease on fabric so I'm just using the spray and the little, look, not wipes because they're dry so cloth I suppose you'd call them and look how good this comes out, I honestly couldn't believe it when I did it. Who's fallen asleep as I've been cleaning, bless him. So 
So now I'm to upstairs, so I just need to sort out this ottoman at the end of my bed because I just throw all clothes on it that are not dirty but I can't put that in my, back in my wardrobe and it's really annoying because I got rid of my chair for this reason and now I just pop everything on here instead. And then I also need to find a place for these shelves and pictures that are on the end of my bed. I was going to pop these behind my bed but then I decided to do something else so I think I'm going to put these shelves in the bathroom and now I'm just going to change my bed in. So Ali is back from school now as well so he's going to try and give me a little help. So now onto the hallway, I really don't know what to do about this trike, it's always in the way and makes the hallway just look so much smaller than it is. So I'm just going to start out the dog leads and the boys little coat hook because it means that when the trike's there, the boys can't actually use the coat hook but I have nowhere else to put it. But I feel like in the summer, because I'll be walking down to school a lot, I'll be using it so yeah, I even need to find another place or get rid of it. So since though I'm doing a deep spring clean, I'm going to go through the shoes and all the hats and scarves and if none of them pair then they go in the bin. I've also just filmed me doing my wardrobe and the boys wardrobe and drawers upstairs, I was going to add it in this video and then it was going on for way too long so I've decided to do a separate video on that and I've got some really good like space saving tips in there as well so if you're interested in that I'll either link it down below if it's already up or don't forget to hit that notification bell so you'll get notified when I pop that up. Making you smile I know I am what you need And boy, you're just my type Deep down, I know you want it You wanna take a leap and jump in Oh, oh, oh Now onto the living room So I'm just putting away all these two two driver sets and then sorting out this area. I don't know why I let it get like this. I think it's just because it's been the boys birthday and we've got balloons everywhere and new toys that I have nowhere to put them. So we're just going to pop these balloons and then of course the boys come over because they want to have a go.
well. I've also been testing out the elbow grease on stains on my carpet and it comes out so, so well. So these are just stains from, I think they're from the dog. So I'm just gonna give them a clean and it comes out amazing. just gonna take the happy birthday signs down and the boys cards but I keep the cards for my scrapbooking So I've just bought these netted curtains to go over these lights on the wall. I'm not sure what I think of them. I feel like I might actually take them down. I feel like they look better without. But let me know what you think looks better, if you think they look better with or without. Following our hearts with them, we take a ride wherever. I always try to let my spirit fly, fly away. That's the only way to get that high. What I like Jumping from a roof that is almost too high Laying on the grass, I close my eyes Playing my guitar to my fingers and no so that is me done for the day. I really hope you've enjoyed this video and like I said at the start, don't forget to subscribe if you're new here. It does really mean a lot to me. I will leave all my other videos linked down below, all of my renovation vlogs or room tours if you're wondering where anything is from. And just before you go, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and I will hopefully see you guys in the next one. Bye guys!